Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Happy Friday. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you are notified whenever I post new content. So let's go ahead and see what the vibes are for this Friday, which I got going on this weekend. See what messages we have for the collective. Any advice, insight, clarity, or guidance? The collective today. Let's see what we got for now, right? And Monday, I will res I will start using singing bowl again. I know so many of you want that so much. Okay, so we have the Knight of Wands. So we got action, action. We want action. So some action can be taking place right now. Maybe it's chaotic. Maybe it's reckless. I don't know, but it's action. Five of Swords. Ooh. Hmm. It's a feeling of defeat. The star and the world and the seven of pentacles. Whew, got chills. And the chariot, the four of pentacles, and the three of wands. Somebody's opportunity they've been waiting for should be coming in very soon. I feel like somebody is going to be shining a lot. Like, you're going to get a lot of attention. And it's not like envious or i mean of course there'll be people who envy it's always like that but it's not going to be envious like you put the work in so you're going to get a lot of attention something about validating you for something about validation and maybe that's something you struggle with validation but it's something about validation it's like some kind of doors opening up for you so your message you have for the collective yeah we have the ten of cups coming in in reverse King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy, Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy, hmm. Chariot again, oh. and an Ace of Swords, Reverse, hmm. You can't figure something out. Somebody's trying to figure out why they're not happy. Maybe you feel like you should be, but you're not. King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Maybe it's with a part a person. Could be a divine partner here with the King and the Queen of Swords. You know what I'm saying? It could be. It could be. Page of Cups, Seven of Swords, Page of Pentacles, the Moon. That sounds like somebody lying to you. That's why. Five of Pentacles. Somebody keep a son from you. You feeling isolated or feeling like you don't know something? It's for a reason. Why am I not happy? Because you ain't found out everything you're supposed to find out yet. You don't know everything you're supposed to know yet. There's a lot of um, misconceptions here about the person, and that's why. I'm, it's, I'm just strong in that, and I'm a stand in that. Somebody you may be looking at as a divine partner, but you you may be seeing them as a divine, a divine partner, but they're not. Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles, information. You could be getting, you could be finding something out this weekend. You might have found something out this week. Somebody might have spilled the beans about somebody, do you? You know, it honestly feels like you haven't been happy for a while and you've been trying to wrap your head around why. Why am I not happy? Why is like what? And I feel like you know why you're not happy. But at the same time, it's like, okay, is it this or is it me? Like, is it that there's something that I can't? Is it something with this person in this situation? Or is it me? Am I the reason? I'm sorry, y'all, I'm cold. Am I the reason I'm not happy? Well, I mean, it's always rooted back to you, right? Like, it's always you. You have the choice. You make the decision about your life. Nobody else does but you. And, you know, maybe it's the mere fact that you are not picking up on or you're not seeing something clear enough because it's the ace of swords. And if you're not seeing it clear enough, how are you supposed to know? But you're probably not seeing it clearly because, again, bottom of the deck energy is the seven of swords and the moon. Is that my child? clarify these energies on the table for the collective. That was the truth card. Yeah, you aren't supposed to find something out just yet. Maybe you weren't ready, but maybe you are ready now. Maybe this week was the week or maybe this weekend or next week, but you weren't ready, but you're ready now. So clarify these energies on the table for the collective. All right, so we have receive and open. Yeah, you definitely are ready to receive this information. You're ready. Okay, Spirit, I got it. Fate, detours, and divine intervention. Oh, 
The divine said, I'm stepping in. Maybe it was too much for you to handle before, but it's not now. So the divine decided now is the time. Mercury definitely messages. You're definitely going to get some form of communication, yo. It's coming. Mercury messages, travel communication. You could be out and about when you hear it, but it doesn't matter. You're going to get that communication. Separation, longing, healing, inner child, third eye clarity, guilt, and sabotage, disharmony, triggers, and conflict. It's going to cause, it's going to cause some issues for sure. It's going to sabotage this entire connection. Not you, what you find out is going to sabotage. I mean, the act of whatever it was that was that went down is what sabotaged this connection. But the clarity that you've been seeking, whatever has been kind of clouding your third eye, maybe it's the misconception with the moon energy. You know, we do have a full moon coming in on the 23rd. Full moon is supposed to remove things from your life, right? And help you kind of get rid of the things that no longer serve you. So you can make room for new energy with the new moon. Spirit, so what is this Ten of Cups? reverse energies so we have epiphany and breakthrough don't that be at all let's get two okay two more cycles change completion and ego vanity and pride release surrender and purge like it looked real good on the outside but it surely wasn't good on the inside and i think that's the part that Maybe you just weren't ready because you weren't ready to feel like you were embarrassed. You know, you don't want to be embarrassed by this. I didn't want people to know. I didn't, yeah. But change is, is you know, change soon come. It's here. And you're having a breakthrough. Remember, epiphany breakthrough energy, right? That's clarifying the Ten of Cups reverse. So you're having a breakthrough as to why you're not happy. What was off? What, what was it? Because the Ace of Swords over here is reversed. So it was like you didn't see it. Again, maybe it's because you didn't want to see it, but you didn't see it. And you're realizing it's time to purge. Perfect time with the moon, with the um, full moon. Spirit, what is this King of Wands energy? So we have guilt and sabotage. This King of, King of Wands person, whoever they are, they definitely ruined this connection. Ace of Air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So it might not be a fire sign. It could be an air sign. Either way, it's a breakthrough for you. Awakening. See what I mean? It's a breakthrough. It's like you, it's, it's almost like you knew it. But the, the way, the misconceptions and the illusion was so strong, you couldn't see it. That's how good they were at hiding it. But they're guilty as charged. And you might find out at a party or it might be somebody else outside of, you know, your immediate circle who tells you or something of that nature. Spirit, my children loud. Spirit, what is this Queen of Swords energy? The boundaries start going up, the masculine energy here. Here, what is this Queen of Swords energy? And then I have Confusion and Illusion Twin Flame energy. Wow. I don't believe this was change and courage. I don't believe this was about your twin. I believe it was about, I don't, I don't know if you have a twin flame. You know, that's Gemini energy. That's um, choices. That's decisions. It's not just, you know, about a twin flame, you know, but there's that, whatever it does, it gives you the courage to change. It could be a twin flame connection that is aside from that connection because i don't think that it's your twin it doesn't make any sense that it would be your twin who would do that to you twins don't generally do that they trigger but they do not create trauma and if you think otherwise i don't know what to tell you we're on different pages <laughs> but the confusion i'm sorry i shouldn't have started pulling it started pulling it the confusion the illusion that's what it is And like, once you see, you can't unsee, you know? It feels like you find something out about this masculine energy though. They've been doing something. Spirit, clarify this chariot. So we have leap, freedom, leap, opportunity, and messages and dreams. Yep, you're gonna get a message. Nurture and compassion. Thoughts isolating. You know what? You just be minding your business. <laughs> I don't know. I get that feeling that, you know, I'm doing, you know what? I'm just minding my business. And this information was just offered to me. It's not given like you went seeking or looking for it at all. It came and fell into your lap, baby. It did. It was like almost like a conversation you were having with someone that was supposed to be. Um, it was a conversation. It's, it's coming from a very compassionate place is what I'm saying. Like whoever delivers this message to you is not delivering it out of jealousy or hatred. They're delivering it from a place where they feel for you. So that can also help you, you know, kind of see what I'm saying. But the chariot is what's going to, this is what's going to initiate a forward movement for you. Your willpower. And you're going to take that leap. 
You're going to free yourself from this. So what is this Ace of Swords reverse energy? Divine time. I knew it. It's divine time. Divine intervention. So what is this Ace of Swords reverse energy? Decisions. Time to make that choice. Time to make that choice. Ace of Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Change of heart. Feeling different. Feeling brand new after finding this out. For sure. And I don't think you were ready before, but you are now. Maybe your heart wasn't ready. Maybe some things had to conspire and take place for you to get here. Pluto transformation triggers disharmony conflict. A major change comes in with this conflict. A major change. Okay? It's huge. And then there's sun strength and empowerment. Integration union. And then lack and doubt. So it's something that helps you realize or gives you the strength you need to accept the, the lack of this connection with this situation. And it's a very unexpected storm. It's brewing, y'all. Very unexpected. You didn't see it coming. You felt maybe, but you didn't see it. Not this way. Not the way that this is information is going to be delivered to you now. So we're going to clarify these energies on the table for the collective. You didn't see this one. So we're going to clarify these energies on the table for the collective. Judgment card reverse. Yeah, you were sleeping. You didn't see it. You didn't want to see it. I, I honestly feel like you didn't want to. You didn't want to believe that this was gonna that this was happening, and that's that. And now you can't deny it because it's being brought to your attention, and somebody's got receipts. Okay, seven of wands coming in reverse. And it's funny because I feel like this person doesn't even have any defense. They can't even defend what they've done. Devil, look at that. Look at that. Two of wands. You definitely realize you need to make a decision now. Nine of Cups, because you're not happy. Star car reverse. It could definitely be traumatizing too. Like I said, it, twins don't traumatize, but this is traumatizing and you feel a little hopeless. Ace of Swords reverse, but you have the strength to move forward, but you do feel hopeless because you, you didn't know. I feel like you feel like you got played. Six of Wands, but this is definitely going to give you the confidence boost that you need to walk away. So what is the Ten of Cups reverse? Epiphany, Cycles, Ego, Vanity, Pride. So I have the Hangman, Perception, all new, new perspective. Like you didn't know, and I, and I also feel like you may not have known. Like it seems like this, even though it's not the best type of situation, it's not the ideal type of way to find out or to move on from a situation. That's the case, absolutely. But at the same time, it feels like you didn't really have any direction and you really needed some. And this is definitely feeling like it gave you the direction you needed. I don't know why, but it's, it's heavily rooted in you persevering and pushing through. Like you put a lot of work and effort into this connection. And I think that's ultimately what hurts you. But at the same time, it is what motivates you. Like, even though it's done all these things for some reason, like not even though it's hurt you at the same time, you've grown. You have a lot to, you know, you have a lot to take with you. So what is this? King of Wands, Guilt, Party, External, Air, Ace, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius Energy, Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Yeah, I feel like you definitely have gained a substantial amount of financial security, success while dealing with this situation for yourself. And you're going to take all your little coins right on with you, baby. King of Pentacles, reverse. So don't, don't, don't despair, you know, don't feel like, you know... You lost because you're not. You're winning. The universe is actually taking something away from you that may have been causing you to lose financially, right? Here, what is this? Queen of Swords, Masculine, Twin Flame, Confusion, Energy, Seven of Pentacles, Perseverance, baby. You definitely see it differently. Whatever this is, though, you are prepared and you are ready for it. Let me just say that. Ten of Wands reverse. It was something I was holding you back for sure. You about to see a major change in your life after you move on from this. Sphere, so what is this? Chariot, freedom, leap, dreams, nurture, compassion. You're going to see a major change. Four of Pentacles. You've been holding on to something that's no good for you. And that's how I feel like when the person delivers it to you, it, that's how it comes through compassion. It's not you. It's not that you're not enough. Like it's coming through that way. Like you are more than enough. Don't let this broken heart weigh you down for too long. Three of Swords reverse. Again, Three of Swords in my deck is trauma. It's trauma. Like this is definitely a trauma that you'll be able to move on from rather quickly. It's 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 gonna require some healing, and I know everything feels helpless as it happens, but you'll be able to move on. 
And I think that's the beautiful aspect of it. So what is this Ace of Swords reverse? Div trust and divine. Okay. I'm not going to keep it because it fell, but it is the Nine of Wands. Yeah, you can finally stop hurting. So we're clarify this Ace of Swords reverse, divine time, decisions, water, Ace of Water. With the Ace of Cups reverse, your cup was so empty from this person. You've grown a lot. You have a lot, you know, to, to, to set, like a lot of accomplishments and achievements to speak of. But your heart is empty. You've poured so much of yourself out into this person. Queen of Cups, Two of Cups reverse, right? You were so good to somebody who did not deserve you. Three of Wands reverse. It was been hard to move on. Ten of Cups reverse, but you have not been happy. Ten of Cups is coming out reverse twice. You have not been happy. And then the Five of Cups, you felt lonely. Like I said, very unhappy. Again, Six of Swords reverse. And I feel like there's always something going on. Like this person always got you going through something, going, jumping through hoops, you know? Never anything based off of like your own doings. It was never you that was putting yourself in these situations. It was them. Like, why am I so unhappy? What the hell? Like, what the, what's going on? You about to find out. Taurus energy. Capricorn energy. Yeah, Earth energy strong. Aquarius energy. And at the bottom, we have Virgo. Earth energy strong. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo vibes. Okay? Very strong energies. Very strong earth energy in this reading today. Okay, so we have Vesta, the goddess within your sacred spiritual center and quiet dignity, right? You're going to walk away like a lady, like a G, like, and Pluto, your ability to transform, take a big leap forward and rebirth. I'm telling you, it's like this was something, this full moon that we got coming up is definitely in, you're embodying that vibe for real. And the sun, your immortal spirit, purpose, and destiny is involved. Like, I know I got to be worth more than this. And at the bottom, Saturn, the part of you that accepts challenge to gain wisdom. Like, right, like, I know it's going to be hard for me to move forward, but the amount of, first of all, success that you've accumulated by dealing with the situation, furthermore, the amount of wisdom that you will accumulate to be able to share and help others with. Priceless, you know? All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's message. Um, don't forget to subscribe. If you'd like to book a session with me, link is in my bio. If you want to purchase any of my decks, especially my new deck, I'm going to keep promoting it because I love this deck so much. Shadows be louder than words. It's beautiful. It's amazing. It's like playing cards. And then the major arcana is, um, it's very, it's very beautiful, you guys. Um, the empress, you know, she thicky thick. And um, we have the fool. I love the fool. That's like my favorite card, I think, in this deck. The judgment card is shadow. So everything is like a silhouette. And I did that intentionally, the devil. I did that all intentionally because I wanted it to kind of touch people's shadow sides and help, you know, with some shadow work. So anyway, if you want to book a session with me, purchase any of my decks. Link is in the bio. If you want to book, if you want to purchase an 8, 12, or 16 card reading, you can do so by using Afterpay, okay? Any of my decks and any of the 8, 12, or 16 card readings can be purchased by using Afterpay. Um, any service that you purchase, however, has to be paid with debit, credit, or PayPal or Apple Pay. Um, but yeah, donate to my channel if you feel inclined. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, subscribe to my TikTok, subscribe to my Instagram, and um, you guys have an amazing weekend. Peace.